All right, boys and girls, we are back in the next episode. And first of all, thank you again so much for tuning in. Thank you so much for supporting the channel. Um, yeah, so again, as, as always, um, I'm really thankful for all of you watching me playing this weird zoo game and uh, making sure that we don't lose too many animals, which we just do because there's someone dead in here. Um, we just called the vet. He's taking care of that. And we continue on with this little selfish plug here. So in case you guys like the content and you've been watching some of the episodes already and you haven't subscribed yet please make sure to consider subscribing it really helps oh look at that baby pandas um it helps a lot because that really is the easiest way to support the channel without actually paying anything or whatnot um as always you can also deactivate the bell you don't need to activate it because i know how ex extremely annoying it can be if you get all the notifications all the time so just you know just disable them but the the good thing is i will then appear in your feed um because you're sub to me and that would be really awesome if you would do this and help me reach those 50k this year because at the moment it's really it seems to be a little bit hard and we might not get it this year so every little bit of help is appreciated and now i will do and help my snow leopards first um you guys are fighting because of overcrowding like you can go whatever is going on but you're so old you can go good okay how many do we have left are you siblings are you doing inbreeding what is Ooh. ah no okay so i'm gonna release you to the wild as well so we've got these two and i'm pretty sure that these are siblings right eh, 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 eh. this is uh, garel and bhutan uh, but now but batuhan batuhan so basically this oh, wait, where is it this is Batuhan, right? How unfortunate. Okay, so um, you are right. Quite nice. Appeal is quite nice. Size, blah, blah, blah. What about you? What about you? For a... This, this is like a good female one. Okay, let's have a look what we find on the market as a male. As a male one, you know? As a male snow leopard. We are just right in the right tab here. Like a good snow leopard male. Oh, look at this one. 2.9 years. Oh, yes, boy. You come back in here. Just make sure that our family is going a little bit better. And you've you've done, you know, you, you've been very cool, very nice to us. But I'm going to release you to the wild. Um, and then this is fixed. Okay, let's go back to Asia, guys. Asia is really taking shape. Um, however, in order to make sure that this still um, remains this way, we are going to do a very big update on this area, first of all. I'm gonna pause the game. This really annoys me too much if everything is just going nuts here because I know that we have to have to make sure that this all looks a bit better. Now, what we will do, we'll just quickly before we build finally a habitat again. Um, I know I'm also waiting for that quite a lot. I didn't like anything in here. So um, this is the large staff room. We are going to put down two of them actually down here. This is very important. And then we will also put down a large keeper hut in here as well. That's gonna be placed here. And another one is going to place, be placed here. Good. We have to kind of obviously make sure that this is all a building and stuff, you know. Um, and we will also need to connect this path over here. And we also kind of connect this on that side. So it's actually like a really nice little backstage area we're going to play here, place here. Um, now, we have one keeper that's working on the pandas. And I want to have like two keepers more in here. So one and two. And what we will also need to do now, we need to have a few more vendors that are going to be sitting right over here. And they are basically for these shops, you know? So I'm gonna put them all down. I would love to just select them all at once, but it's not working, I know, but yeah, you know. So God, put this in. Put them in here and then what we will do we create like for you okay for you and for the bamboo for you we are creating new work zone and this is going to be like this area over here we've got like this the small staff room and the cafes but we will also add these two staff rooms to your group and this is the restaurant oops asia okay so this is what we have here this is the restaurant asia and we're going to make sure that all of those people in here have the re wait no no that's the oh ah, where is it where is it restaurant hyena restaurant asia there you go i'm still wondering wait a second before i do this i want to see can i just work zones okay so and then i go to restaurant asia can i can i just put some unemployed people in here just by 
Not really, right? Oh, I can. Wait, unassigned staff. Look at that. I can't even see which are the new ones, right? Going to Habitat. This is like unassigned staff. It's like a lot of people unassigned. Not, that is not good. This is not good, guys. This is not good. I can't even... I would love to order them like by time, you know, by time I put them down. Um, but whatever. So this is the... Okay, so we're going to put this one then to Restaurant Asia. Okay, so we're going to click through this quickly. That should be fine. So Restaurant Asia. Same goes for you. Restaurant Asia. Restaurant Asia. I mean, maybe maybe these are too many, but you never know. I hope that this is going to be uh, a little bit more of a busy area soon. So we are just prepared, you know. We are still making decent money, so that's fine. Um, and, you know... I don't know, maybe I overdo it, who knows, but this zoo is already getting so big that I can easily change a few things and just get even more air, money and stuff out of it. So yeah, that is it. So they are all set into this position. Awesome. Um, I also need to, like, I, you know, facility broken down is the, okay, I'm going to call a mechanic. I'm not sure if we have enough mechanics in the zoo by now, but I will, I will definitely look into that. So I'm just going to keep this playing for a sec. Where am I? I'm confused. Um, there are my two staff members I put down. So you have no work zone, do you? You have to go to... Where are the other two? I just plopped this down and waited for a second and just... You're gone, right? You have no... But you're going to work for the pandas. Pandas. There you go. Cool. Now this is done and I really hope that this worked out. Let's have a quick look of how many... How many mechanics we do have so keeper 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 obviously look we have quite a few mechanics actually in the zoo i'm just going to um train all of them just to make sure that they are quicker and stuff you know um they have all no work zone obviously but they have like a high workload so uh, what we will do we will actually yeah i'm gonna employ one more one more mechanic that's good okay so we've we've done that and we basically now got rid of most of the like uh, issues in terms of um yeah uh, work zones and stuff this is still yeah yeah blah 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 demonetized okay um <laughs> so i'm just waiting for next day while we're doing so um god there's someone is stuck somewhere and i hate this when it's like always plopping up but you can't really do too much over the gorka the the cucumber Hello, I'm cozy. Phyllis is there as well. Blacky, hello. Just saying hello to all of them. Get me those few conservation credits. It's nearly next day, right? Yeah. Okay. While we're waiting, we're just checking. I've no clue. Actually, you guys know which animal. I, at this point in time, don't know which animal. You know, I have some ideas, but I, I'm not really sure. Like we, we can't do the Bengal tiger because we have it already. I mean, that would have been cool. We could just move the Bengal tiger, I mean, and then put, like, the Siberian one in the other one. I mean, that could work. Um, we could do the orangutan. Do we, wait, do we have the orangutan already? I think we don't, right? I mean, that would be badass. We have the gorillas? We don't. Guys, that's it. It's going to be the orangutan, which is going to go here. Of course. Yes, it is. Oh, that is so cool. Oh, yeah, boy. This is going to be cool. Okay, cool. I mean, yes, then it's going to be a very easy thing. We are going to use these things here to create like a little little mountain backside, you know. That is it. And we're just going to, yeah, spam that in here. I'm, I'm not even too worried about this. So this is you. Yeah. Oh, God. Let, oh, I love it. And we're going to make like a little orangutan mold. This is going to look good. I really, I know it. I know it. It's going to, it's going to be great, guys. It's going to be great. Okay. So um, I'm just going to raise the terrain here a little bit. So it blends in a little bit nicer with the, with the stuff here. There you go. And so that's kind of what it should look like. There you go. Just see that we can also bring that all the way up here so to mix that in and then we will oh bengal tiger is about mature that means that will they start fighting now uh we have to keep an eye on that guys we have to keep an eye on that and we also have to wait until the light is good in here um but i think it will so let's just bring that all a little bit more down so as i said this is going to be the orangutan mold um like a little that will be looking super cool i know that I really do know that, guys. And we just make a little, like a little waterfall. And oh, the, the lion has matured. So now we can expect some more baby lions, which is, 
which is great, which is great, which is great. So we also have to make sure that we, for some reason, um, I don't want, to, you know, the people to see them all the time. So we have to make sure that we build also like a wall here to maintain some kind of privacy for the orangutans. Oh, this is, this is going to be great, guys. It's going to be great. I know it. I just know it. I also have like an idea, uh, with like the river that just kind of goes over here. And then we have some water and ah, uh, it's going to be looking really cool. And I think we can easily do this in today's episode because it's mostly like landscaping, you know, and that's going to be looking great. We just have to make sure that the entrance is over here. Yeah, okay, what on earth? Why? Oh, because I still have the other one in. Ooh, um, excuse moi. They matured, right? Oh boy. So you are. Wait. Who? I mean. Okay, I'm going to sell you. That's fine. Yeah, yeah. Wow, that was quite a lot of money. Um, that is the new mail I got, right? Yeah, this is my Chuyoki. But the problem about you is... But wait a second. So, children. Um, okay, I released... He was fighting to his... Yeah, well, Eshi. 16 years. Oh, this is the old one. Yeah, well, okay. I'm gonna rehome you. See you later, alligator. Okay, so now we can just keep on... Keep on playing. Oh god, this was this was confusing. Okay, let's uh, speed up quickly. I want to have the sun in here because this looks a bit weird. Yep, oh, right, I got it. Um, pause the game quickly. Uh, I have no idea how old these animals are. I mean, I knew that this would happen, so let's just click on... Hey, click on the gate. There you go. Um, we've got four Bengal tigers. The problem about this is I have... Okay, let's go to the overview of the animals. This is easier. Okay, so we've got like 9.5, 9.5 years. Really nice Eichenstraß. Okay, so we've got these two, which is good. Um, I mean, I mean, they are both better. So we're just going to release those two to the wild. And um, actually, do they have a different pattern? I wanted to see that anyway. So... Yeah, this one is like a little bit less, and this one is a little bit more. Well, but you're like a baby, aren't you? You just grew up, right? How small are you, by the way? Okay. But you're not, like, the game didn't show up that you're grown up. This is like the grown up ones. But these these guys aren't. Um, okay, but I'm still going to sell the smaller ones. I mean, they look kind of cool. They have a cool color pattern. But I'm still tempted to just quickly sell them, you know. So these two, four point years old. Uh, Reads to the wild. Yeah, a thousand. A thousand conservation credits. I mean, we need conservation credits anyway. Uh, cr critics? Credits. <laughs> conservation critics. Um, but, well, let's check the research. This is, I'm, I'm still confused. I still have over, like, 40 FPS here um, when I speed up the game. It's, it's really nuts. And this, like, with, like, five and a half thousand guests in here. That's just nuts. Um, I think we're losing money by the time, by the way, guys. I'm, I'm not sure if we do. Oh, no, it's actually going up. It's actually going up a little bit. Like, not crazy, but it's still going up. Um, which is good. I mean, I haven't in increased the price tags. I haven't haven't put all the donation boxes in. So there's, like, a lot of a lot of potential of making even more money. So that's just not a big deal at all. Um, what time is it in, in like, in-game? Okay, we're going to go for, like, 12-ish, and I'm going to pause the game. Uh, just to make sure. No, actually, we are losing money, as I said. Okay, we are losing money, but that's fine. At this point, it's actually fine. Um, we will we will just have a look into that later. Uh, serious injury discovered. Oh yeah, that's because they were fighting. Okay, I'm not gonna spend any any much more time looking at that. I will spend a lot more time checking the money as soon as. Um, wait, I click on finance and it's just showing me that. That makes no that makes no sense at all. I'm just gonna increase the ticket price a little bit. Um, overall happiness is good. Cash flow is like bad, but it's okay. <laughs> um, good. Okay. So we are building that. We are like 15 minutes in, but we have decided that this is going to be our venue for the orangutans. Now, this is uh, very important. So we are just going to, first of all, put down the gate, which is going to be sitting right over here. So this is where they put them in. Right, lovely. And I'm going to use mainly and solely the invisible fence because I think it should actually be very simple. And I want actually to have like a lot of climbing rigs going up here in the in the mountains. I think that could look really cool if they're like climbing into the mountains and then just having some like I will use a lot of bamboo because bamboo will be obviously that one 
thing we can use all over the place um, realistically in terms of keeping that like a European oriented uh, thing so like a zoo thing <laughs> I just I don't know what I'm going to do. I'm just I'm, I'm I'm just stupid guys there you go connect okay so that's this is it now we are just using this wall over here quickly um, because this is also the non climbable wall we are just you know we are not stupid we're using that one obviously with the arctic wood and some stones and stuff because we all know that it is very important that the animals cannot climb these things at some points so it's going to get rid of this and we're just going to follow the street a little bit you know follow the street just so here you go just making sure that this is uh, looking nice so as i said we don't want them to look all over in here because this would just lead to some weird um crowds and stuff so i want to make like a little viewing platform here and this corner over here gets another viewing spot as well but now as we have the light coming in here we can we can now just do the, uh, the little bit of landscaping required to make it look decent yeah oh, there you go just put all this in position and then we just also do the same here just click 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 until i'm happy and then what we do just bring that all the way down and now it's time for like the little detailing in here you know oh wait i need to make that even smaller and stronger smaller and stronger to just give this this kind of mountain like a little you know rough more rough face but i i like to do this all myself i mean there is the roughen tool in the game but i'm not the biggest fan of that tool because it just not always gives you the the rough texture you want so you better off doing this yourself and i'm going to show you like a little trick how you how you can do this um like usually i do it that way just painting all these like faces down as you can see just making it appear a bit more rough as if there is like actual some 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 rock scattering going on and when water dripples down here it creates these little molds in between so this usually is how they uh, these things are um created and then obviously erosion and stuff happens and you, you kind of would go a little bit like oops um, a little bit like this you know but you down here you have some some less rock and this is kind of how you how you create these these rocky rocky faces you can also just make sure that this doesn't look so uh, awfully crazy and then what i always do i'm just using the oops oh, way too strong um smooth tool just a little bit so that these ugly little shadow fragments go away there you go and once you've done that i like this is what i do mostly so this looks good already to me and what i do then is i'm just going to go to terrain and then go to painting and i keep it at around like 50 percent and i'm starting with like some smooth rock stuff blending it a little bit in that's the first thing i'm doing like this just just so that i have a little bit of blending going on and what i do then is and this is like very important i use the rock heavy and just paint all of this very heavy this is just very much the a boring work so to say but it's very important to keep it at a 50 or 60 percent because then you just keep a little bit of the color that was below so it's not like completely um how to say that uh, like repetitive because you can see it all already you can see there's still some green and and brown going through um that is really important as well to just keep it a bit more natural looking so once you have done that you can already tell it's looking already pretty much better and what i like to do then is i go to rock smooth just increase this a lot so that is a little bit stronger go to two and then i paint into the middle where we have the molds and just a little bit so it kind of creates also like a visual um difference between the highest almost like creating like a manual bump map if you will um so just going into these kind of corners here and painting that manually and you can already tell it smooths even like visually out these little things in between so just like this and then you can also like search for your favorite spots and just put some stuff in between there you go and what you could do now as well is you can also get some soil reduce that a little bit and just paint some soil over some of the painting area uh, kind of rougher areas here so there you go just making sure that this looks a bit more nice and there you go this is already what we needed to do and look at that this looks already pretty fancy even though that that shadow over here this is really just annoys me um so what we do just smooth that a little bit outwards so it's not like as weird anymore 
Yeah, that looks better. That looks a lot better. Okay, so while we have that one done, I want to make sure that we have a lot of, another little gate going here. And just follow this in like this. I'm still sure they, they could potentially escape here, so I'm going to build this wall a little bit higher. Just over here. So there you go. I'm not sure if they will escape, but this looks totally as if they could there. So yeah, um, we're editing this barrier, just pulling that up a little bit more and making that like a concrete one. So it just kind of blends in a bit nicer in this area. So there you go. This is this is totally fine. And now what we do now, we're just going to go to the lower point and just kind of make sure that they can't really escape over here. So that's that's what we got to do. And then wait, where's the smooth tool? There's the smooth tool. Just smooth that out over here a little bit. And can we just get some water in? I said some water. This is like insanely loads of water. Um, so I'm going to flatten this out a little bit more. So I don't want to have too much. Yeah, there you go. And we can put like a waterfall in this edge. I think I like that. Wait, what was that though? Oh, okay. Never mind then. I mean, I keep it that way because they still should have like a lot of area to walk over. And they don't come too close here. That should all be good. Cool. Like they don't have a shelter yet, um, which I'm quite aware of so I will have to see you guys wait Anvil did deliver also like another shelter let's have a look if if this uh, works uh, no I'm in here and did deliver that one Asian elephant house this is way too big can I can I use something of that like this is just way too big though but I um Hmm, I can, I can. So we delete these things. And then, um, I mean, as much as I like this backside, we're basically getting rid of entirely this portion of it. There you go. Oops. I mean, I like the, I like how you, what you did end all here with the ground stuff. I really do like it. Uh, give me that one. It's not really important what we do with this, to be honest. It's just like the backside of it, but um, yeah, we'll keep it that way. And I don't need this hide me. So we are going to use this one. And just build a little bit of a shelter here. Ah, like, yes. Yes, simply yes. Simply yes, guys. Oh, wait, what was that in here? There's like a, oh, there was an arrangement item. <laughs> we need to delete that first. I don't want to create confusion. Um, let's just get away with this. Okay. I can I also I would love to be able to just move it once more into each other. So let's just get rid of the middle portion. I can I just delete this a little bit. It doesn't really matter because now I'm moving that into each other. Uh, wait. Charlotte and Ali are now giggling in front of their computers. I know it. It's not the same height. I hate myself. Can I just have a one meter grid now. There you go, that's the same height. Yes, lovely. We're getting there. We are getting there. It's a little bit smaller. Um, and now we can actually plop this down. I wonder if it makes sense to put it on this side though. Like this and then I think, yes, this can be a cool thing. Look at that, we do it that way. And now let's bring this a little bit more down, a little bit more like this. So that's cool. And what we do now, this is like a, a super nice idea. Um, I had this idea. It's <laughs> and we're just going to create, like, let me just pull that in here. And the one goes right here. Oh wait, I need to pull that a little bit back because it's, I think I, I think it works like this, right? I can't yet because it's too close to the path, right? Let's do it again. Yeah, that's, that's working. So we're going to like do it this way. And then obviously we just bring that one down. Uh, wait, where's this thing? Just raise that. So it's almost looking like this. And then uh, the animals should not be bothered too much because this is like, yeah, look at this. This is kind of really cool because then you can actually look inside of their uh, little shelter. I love that. I mean, even though the animals would not potentially not be that happy about it, but you know, whatever, I guess. So this is because of the water, right? Yeah. Well, we, we, we keep it the way it is. Oh, there's a door also. Can we just make that door accessible? Could potentially be. 
that this is like an accessible door now. Like this, that's all fine. You know, this is the lovely shelter they they get. And then let's let's go to habitat, and then we just give them some bedding in here. Yeah, let's just plop that down and have a little bit of the texture left. I, I, I like the fact that we have it this way. Yes. Yes, boys, this is what we do. And then we have this little bit of water down here. That doesn't matter because I can, they should actually be able to still go above water. We're like 25 minutes in and we are really having a good, a good, good, good um, timing today. Because we will now bring already the animals in. And then, um, wait, I think this is not the best idea I ever had because they will potentially be able to escape there so let's just do it that way awesome so i guess that's already pretty much what we need and the problem about this backside here is like they potentially will be able to walk over this you never know um and therefore i think i'm just going to do something okay let's let's have a look where's the barrier so this is the barrier right yeah so what we will do we're just going to take this barrier we have to make this all this and just raise that in the back because the guest should not be able to see that whatsoever is like what a real zoo would do anyways yeah look at that and then we just have to walk uh, work it that way so that it cannot escape i mean this is just kind of weird down here but it's fine okay so in order to make sure that we we can just stop uh, being that quick um we go to animal trading i'm not sure if i have some orangutans in here already but no but yeah i've got one that's good already like a female one i'm gonna send this in um and i think and that's all okay we're gonna get two new ones um first of all deselect that one and then it's b right bornean orangutan there you go so that's oh oh god what an expensive one ten thousand um well that is that's not too bad wait what the animal is not longer available are you kidding me uh-huh 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 Okay, well, why not refresh the list then? Yeah, this is like almost like infernal because too old, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, so what do we have in here? Okay, fatality is zero. Okay, whatever. So I'm gonna get this one then. How old is it? 13 years. That's fine. We're gonna one male. We could get that one. Um, how old is she? I mean... I mean... Yeah, I mean, okay. I, I do this simply because I have the chance to get this other one because we have the baby, which is, which is, you know, still working. And we just hope that we will get one more baby out of it. That this could hopefully work, like 43 years old, who knows. We have a very, very nice zoo, like a super nice zoo. Um, and then, you know, that's what's happening, hopefully. So they're delivering now our friends, and I really do hope that this works. And while we are waiting for them to be delivered, um, I can already do a little bit of the climbing frames you know um oops so let's go into habitat let's go to there let's go to climbing there you go we've got a bit of stuff in here already and uh, people did do some stuff um actually i'm just going to put this down. What, what is that this is also endel oh, why 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 was i even asking god this is so good <clears throat> so so good i love it I love that. This is just fitting perfectly fine. Um, the tree is like quite in the way, but it's okay. Just giving them already a bit privacy behind that is really good. Um, let's go back to Habitat and see what else is in here. <coughs> I hate this. Large animal clan. Oh god, this is <coughs> in game. Oh god, this is so bad. Okay. Right, so we get our first baby animal here, and we can also already check the traversable area, which is super important um, because that's baby. And with the baby, this is the the best test already then to see if they can escape or not. So that is very bad. Um, okay, so they can escape over here because they can. Holy crap! Look at how much they can climb. Okay, so this is the first fix. The other fix would be yeah, well they can go up here. This is this is fine. This is something we can easily fix by putting some bigger rocks in here. So we're just going to do this quickly. That's like the, that's like an easy fix, okay? So oh, all of it should be an easy fix. So I'm going to put like a, a big old rock here, another one here. And then we just uh, go from there and just kind of pull all these things in, you know. Um, just making sure that they are not escaping. 
So I'm going to just put that one in here as well. Just have one leaning towards it a bit more like this. Looks kind of good. Um, but just to make sure that this all is pretty much safe, I'm going to put like even more bigger ones in here as well. Just like that, you know. So that, that should be all good. And we're just going to give this like a rocky face here. Um, so also for the guests that when, when they approach, it looks a bit more nice. So this is just kind of cool. And now where's the... This is one big piece. I'm there. You go. This is the one I was looking for. So we have that one leaning for here as well. And this one is just like partly in. There you go. That's good. And now let's have a look. They can. I love the fact that they can climb all over there. This is exactly what I wanted. Um, but the other thing is, I don't want them to go here. You know, this is why I will now plop a lot of bigger ones in here. So I mean, the fact that they can go up here, let alone, is already great. Um, but again, I just want to make sure that they. Ooh, this wasp is going to be a bit more aggressive right now. Um, just go away. Okay, I think they won't be able to climb there now. Like they have this tree which they can climb. They can climb all over there. That's all fine. They can get all up these hills. Now let's just hit play again for a little. This well, if this wasp is going to stay this aggressive, I'll have to I'll have to pause a little bit. Um, okay, so what about now? Oh, well, perfection, I would say. Good. This is like way too much grass long, way too less short grass and way too less soil, right? This is going to be fixed quickly. Now, we are going to first of all just do this and make all the short grass we can and just get rid of all the long grass. This is like the first fix we can do. Like, where is all the long grass though? Can you just tell me where all the long grass is you're ta talking about? I really don't get this. Is it all in the back here? I mean, potentially it's all here, right? Yeah, 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 that looks, that looks almost like it. So I'm just going to go for soil. It's like all covered in these things anyway, so. Yeah, we can also go to rock now. So see, this is, this is not nearly, it's nearly done. There you go. Now we have done this. That's good. And now you want to have some soil. I'm just going to mix that in. Oh, there you go. That looks a lot better. It's just like the looks a bit better like this. Cool. So this is done. Um, enrichment, you say there is none. Are you kidding me? Like species food and species toy. Oh, we, we actually do this quickly. So orang. Uh, that should be fine. Should be enough. Um, so food enrichment. Yeah, this is the forage box. Where do I put this though? Yeah, I'm gonna put this here. And then, yeah, oh God, I just destroyed my rock face there. I'm just gonna put this here. What? Then I'm gonna do it here and I'm gonna, I'm gonna kind of change this in a bit because I can, I mean, this is so nasty. I hate, <sighs> why? Wait, okay, I can also put this up here, right? I can, but the problem is the keeper won't get there. How is this even get, getting there, by the way? On the left-hand side, I don't know where. I don't know exactly where it's getting there, but it's okay. It, it, it's eventually getting there. Um, I'm gonna put this right over here. Yeah, yeah, we can just change that if we want. Um, we have got this one. There you go. And you can attack that one. And now let's go to toys, because the toys will also be, let me just check, yeah. I can put one toy here. And up here again as well, there will be another one. Oh, I love the fact that I can get here. And then I'm gonna put the mirror thingy here. I love that one. I mean, this is so cool because I can put all the stuff now up in up in the hill and then hopefully they will actually go here because they are waiting for these enrichment items. I really hope that they'll do this. So we have got quite a few enrichment items in here now. Um, so what about you now? Are you happy? Oh, you're pretty happy. Pretty happy. Good. Okay, so what we are going to do now before we end this, and it's it's actually going to look already pretty sick. Um, we are going to build some climbing up here. You know, this is what we will do by just uh, going to with habitat and then climbing. And we're just going to use these bigger ones, just like so, you know, and then we're just going to give them like a proper climbing frame that goes up the hill and just connects them to our mountain like this you know it just can be right like that and then 
for sure we need to make sure that this is going to be a bit more secure by having some security things going like this you know as if this was meant to be like this so this is like a lovely climbing frame over here but people want to see that too um, but first of all let me just uh, do the terraforming here again uh, I might have been a bit too strong I can't I can't do this because of the water I guess but can I do this smaller wise no I can't I can't I can't I can't we're just gonna do heavy soil here blah blah done okay fix it now we want to we want to also make sure that they do climb over here right we want to make them climb down here this would look good um so trees um they are like let's let's see it's asia and stuff i want to make sure that i connect this from the tree i think that will look good so let's see what what kind of environmental plants you need like asia tropical well that's that's easy okay let's go to biome tropical continent is asia that is easy and now let's go for blueprints off and then we have well actually only this tree is the one that works um I'm gonna put this right over here, like this. And since I have no idea where exactly they will be able to climb, I'm just going to check this quickly by this. And then I know they can climb up to, wh which branch do I take then the best? So this branch is actually really good. If I could, you know, I'm, I'm going to rotate this tree so that we have this branch right over here on the other side. Let's have a look if, if that's the right one now. So let's have a look again. I really hope that they use it. I've not, I've never done this before, so let's have a look. So which is the, this is the branch. This is the branch we have. I want to connect this with a rope now. Okay, let's do this. We go to construction, we say rope. We go in here and we take the four meter straight one. And uh, there you go. Oh wait, no, orangutans are not able to use ropes. Ooh, that was that was a that was a short one. Um so we have to go to habitat and use that one instead. I mean, that's the easiest way because I know that they can use that one. And then I'm going to use these shorter pieces to make sure that the animation hopefully looks kinda good. And then I'm going to just have it a little bit hang in, you know, a little bit more. So like this, and then as I did this in my orangutan house, I made once, you know, just like that. And then just having this little bit going like this. So that's how they could potentially use it. And um, I mean, it's not like super tight. I, I would need to make like, okay, you know, just in case to make it a bit more realistic, I'm just gonna put some pieces next to it. it so it doesn't look like super floaty i mean it, it looks super floaty but i mean that's just the way it goes i guess <laughs> i mean nah, it's a little bit of a problem but it's okay so what i need to do next is i want to also connect some of these areas just to have a bit of fun you know just bring that one over and connect this with that one oh, it's actually more to the left then and even more down 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 even more to the left or right if you will from point of view of this piece yeah but now a little bit more up yeah there you go there you go just have a little bit of a climbing thing like this and then they can basically use their habitat as much as they want um, and we're just going to put a little more foliage in i mean yeah palm trees coconut palm tree is definitely working as well and the rest will be you know just kind of stuff that we would expect in a zoo like that anyways so I'm just gonna put this in here just have some more of these things that work as well just some bamboo in here as i said to block the view mainly and also to make sure that this is uh, looking a lot more realistic in terms of uh, this zoo you know it's gonna put this tree here as if this would be growing like a little special and just having um this down here as well just kind of to the water side making this lake look a bit more realistic, I guess. So there you go. This is going to be our orangutan habitat, guys. It's going to be looking good. I would love to just have a lot more lush environment, to be honest. Um, maybe we just put another tree that would grow. I mean, the problem about this is, and yeah, well, I have to, I guess I have to use the bamboo um, because I want to make it appear a bit more lush and there is just the only chance to do so is using bamboo um simply because 
all the other stuff is not really growable in these areas. So I'm going to use a bit more of our best friend, the bamboo. So look at that. This is this is great, guys. I love I love how this turned out. Okay, so last little bit is um, just making sure that this is, uh, yeah, it's going to do this like so. It's going to bring this over. And then we are deleting this and 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 this. That should be fine. And what we do now, we just build our wonderful little fence here. And um, which one we do? I think we're going to go with the wood logs. Why not? Uh, well, actually, let's start with this one because then we can make it roundish. There you go. And there you go. Nope, I want to have it. Ah, come on. There you go. So now we can curl that actually very close to this area. Wait, actually, that was so stupid. Let's pull that down already. So I can, I can then pull it down as much as I want. Um, there you go. Just stick to be very tight to the path. So we have like a little fence here, which is actually the habitat. I mean, that's the easiest way of doing it. Gorgeous. And then we're just gonna pull that one. Uh, wait. That was right. Let's put it this way. Perfect. And we can actually keep that one. That one can be... Yeah, well, we just take this all over here. Until here. And we're just going to make this like a wooden thingy. And then just going to make that a little bit lower. Awesome. Great. And what we do is just quickly put down... Um, A little bit of this and that and this and then let me just delete all the filters so I can actually put down another rock because rocks you know rocks rock rocks rock rocks whatever you know rocks rock rocks rocky rocky rocks rockety rocks rocks okay so let's have it lo look like that and then just this okay cool I mean we are nearly done and this is like really this little sunken area i mean it would be cool to put like a waterfall in the back here maybe we do this maybe we don't um but i really feel like this is exactly what we wanted to do with the city zoo vibe and having this little asia here um we have to just make sure that this is all a bit more tight and just fit in um and this area is a lot more brick and city and you know just like that but i think all over it looks really cool now so give me those donation boxes I'm going to plop them all down in here, so whatever they do, they give us money, you know, that's happening. So I'm just going to put this all down. The Bornean orangutan has arrived. Awesome, awesome, awesome. I know that they are pretty famous, so this is also one of the reasons why I put them here. Um, and we do put some education for them down, obviously, here. And now let's say Bornean orangutan, so there you go. I really have to do, like, in the next episode, we do some... Uh, we do some fixing, guys, of, uh, you know, kind of habitats and so on. So you're doing good, right? How about your... You cannot escape. That's awesome. Can you actually... Cl you can use all these climbing rigs, which is... Oh, that is great. That is so, so great. I wonder if I have to give them a water pipe. Because I... I you know what? I'm going to put the water pipe right up there. Just because reasons. I want to make sure that they use the water pipe over here somewhere. So there you go. Yeah, whatever. Just put it there. Oh, look at that. It's using it. It's using it already. Oh, I love that, guys. I... Hey, no, don't... Wait, don't you... Don't you just turn around. I want to make sure that this looks really exactly the way I wanted it to. Oh, God. This is so cool because this is exactly what I wanted to do. And that is like a rock facey um, orangutan habitat. I mean, exactly this is the way I wanted to make it. So that they can actually go up there and just like enjoy. Look at that. This is so cool. This is just so freaking cool that they really do use it. I really hope that they get a lot of offspring and stuff so that there are a lot of animals in this uh, part of it. Oh my boy, this is looking really damn cool. I would love to have one, you know, moving over here. That would be so cool. If it would just move over here, that would be the best screenshot ever. I, I'm still not sure why they used this one, though. But okay. Let's have a look what happens if I get this boy and move this boy. I move this boy here. 
I want to see what it does. I just want to see how it reacts, okay? Woo! It's gonna fly over. It's gonna fly over here. Look at these. Okay, I want to see where it's going. I want to see if it's taking that route over here. I mean, that would be that would be insane. But I'm, I'm guessing it's going into this other direction. I mean, I love all the rocks and stuff. That is just really cool. But no, wait, wait, no. Yeah, 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 take it. Oh, boy, it's taking it. Guys! Oh, my lord. This is the 10 out of 10 screenshot. This is the 10 out of 10 screenshot for me. I can't tell you how happy I am. It's just pooping from over there. That's fine. I mean, just just do the pooping. It's okay. It's it's really okay. And also with the other one in the background there, that's just so cool. And then you have the vista from over here. I mean, I mean, come on. This is just this is just incredible. I love that. I mean, if you if you imagine being in a zoo and you just go around here and you have you have this vista. I mean, this is the I I can't I can't say whatever about I, I, what. Yeah, I miss the words. It's really because that they do it and just build. Sometimes this really appears again that I'm so stoked by this game that you can do exactly exactly this, you know, and they do use the stuff exactly as you want them to. And this is just really cool. And to be honest, it's um, it wasn't that much work, you know. You, you see how, how kind of short this, well, it's not super short this episode, but it was kind of short and... Um, we did this. It's incredible. Anyhow, guys, thank you so much again for watching today. And thank you so much for subscribing to the channel. In case you haven't, um, please consider subscribing. It helps out. You know that. But for now, that's it. Have a good day and goodbye, everyone.